coming in from behind us here. Here comes Kevin Rousseau with the SNJ, which is the Navy version of the AT-6. Up onto the vertical there, he's going to roll the airplane around and do a quarter clover leaf. You will notice that this airplane is also very graceful in the maneuvers. Remember, this is state-of-the-art in aviation over 70 years ago. Coming over the top, very slow, very graceful loop. Now, I got to tell you, I always thought these airplanes were big, lumbering beasts going to fall out of the sky at any moment. Kevin doing an aileron roll there. I could not have been more wrong. I logged an hour in a T-6 many years ago, and it was just incredible. This lady is very light on her feet, very agile airplane, and a lot of fun to fly. Coming in from the right. Kevin Rousseau. Pulls up onto the vertical. Once again, you hear that rapping propeller. He's weightless right now. Onto the downside. Here's where the G-forces push him into the seat of the airplane. Wait a minute. He did one, but one is never enough. He's going to do a second inside or barnstormer loop. A wonderfully graceful maneuver in the T-6. Now, Kevin was born in Montreal, Canada, makes his home now up in North Branch, New Jersey. His daughter, Spencer, is 12 years old. I can remember when she was about three. She has indeed grown. And I ask myself, where did the time go? Coming around from the left, keep an eye on this. Here we go, pulls up. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's three, and there's four. Doggone, I can't count today. It's really something. I can pull the numbers off faster than he can roll the airplane. Don't worry, he's going to fix that. Turning the airplane around, bringing it back. Once again, that's the tips of the propeller going supersonic. He's going to climb out a little bit, then he's going to dive down, get a little bit of extra air speed. There's the dive. He's going to pull up right about there. It's a nice gentle pull. That's about three Gs, three times the force of gravity. If you weigh 100 pounds during a three G maneuver, you will weigh 300 pounds. That's how much force you're going to be putting on the airplane. Half cube and eight. Pulls back around again. Weightless at the top, literally floating in the cockpit of the airplane. There's the sound of the engine. That throaty rumble is the R-1340 with the radial engine. It's called a radial because the cylinders are arranged in a circle. Coming over the top again. It's going to roll it out for the other side of the Cuban 8. And now, if my guess is right, he's going to pitch up just a little bit. Pushes the stick hard over into his left knee for the aileron roll. Notice how graceful that is. Once again, want to remind you, this is state-of-the-art 70 years ago. My, how things have changed. Coming around from the left, he's definitely going to make it easier for me to count this time. Watch as he pulls the nose up. And count it with me. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Point hesitation roll. 
For the next one, you're going to have to take your shoes off. Turns the airplane around. He's going to set up for his next maneuver. He's got 600 horsepower up front of that airplane, but this thing weighs about 5,800 pounds. He's doing a very large, very graceful barrel roll, describing a barrel in the sky laying on its side. The next maneuver is going to get very interesting. I suggest you remove your shoes and socks right now. Mine are already off. Coming in from the left, watch for the nose to come up. And there it is. Count them down with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's the 16 point hesitation roll. He stops that airplane precisely every 22 and a half degrees. How do I know? I measured them. Coming back around, get those cameras and camcorders ready. After this pass, he's going to do a photo pass. Very easy airplane to loop. You're very gentle on the controls. You're looking out either side of the cockpit. Make sure that your wings are level. And then Mother Earth rises up to greet you in a friendly way. The inside or Barnstormer's Loop. Believe it or not, it's harder than it looks. The idea is to keep it round. Coming over the top, wait for it. There's the rollout that's called the Immelman. It was invented by Count Immelman way back during World War I as an evasive maneuver when you had somebody that you didn't want on your tail. Get those cameras and camcorders ready, everybody. Coming around from the right, Kevin Rousseau is going to let you take a look at the top of this beautiful SNJ. Would you believe that these airplanes were flown in air forces all the way up into the 1960s? From the right, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Russo, the photo pass. Now the question is, will he do another one? I believe he's heading for home. Well, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I know you all would like to get a close-up look at the AT-6 here, SNJ, but unfortunately, because of FAA safety rules, we cannot stage the aircraft from this airport.